Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I am going to show you guys how to flash a ROM on the Moto G5 Plus. There are multiple ROMs available for the Moto G5 Plus based on Android 7.1.1 whereas the stock ROM of the Moto G5 Plus is still based on 7.0 for some very odd reason. I'll talk about this in my full review which will be linked in the i button over here if I already made it. In this video, I'll show you how to install a ROM and there are multiple ROMs available for this device. I'll show you two of them in this particular video. So if you want to install the ROM, you need to have TWRP recovery installed on your device. And if you don't have it installed on your device, then do not worry. I have already made a guide on how to install a TWRP recovery and how to root your device. That will be linked in the i button over here or in the description box below. So do not forget to check it out. And in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you will have to switch off your device. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume down button and power button together until and unless you see this menu which will pop up over here. This is the fast boot mode but we need to boot into the recovery mode. For that use the volume button and once you see recovery mode over here press the power button so that the device will boot into the TWRF recovery which we have flashed on this device. So the first thing you should do is go ahead and back up the current ROM. So if anything goes wrong while flashing custom ROM or if you do not like the custom ROM immediately then you can restore this backup and come back to the stock ROM which you had installed earlier. If you want to remove the custom ROM later on and if you want the device to be on the original software with which it was shipped then do not worry. Video for that is present in the i button over here which will teach you how to flash stock ROM on the Moto G5 Plus. Once the backup is completed go back, go back. Now go into wipe and select swipe to factory reset. This will wipe data, cache and Dalvik cache on your device so you do not have to wipe anything separately. Now go back, go back, select install over here, select the ROM which you want to install and for that scroll down. I'm going to install Lineage OS 14.1 so I'm going to select that ROM, select swipe to confirm flash or you can select add more zips and select the open gaps package or open G apps package over here and select swipe to confirm flash. This will flash both ROM package and the G apps package on this device and G apps package is very important to be flashed on your device. So don't forget to do that and all the download links are present in the description box below and all the XDA threads are linked in the description box below. So do check them out if you have the Moto G5 Plus or if you are interested in development of the Moto G5 Plus. Once both the zip files are flashed go back, go back, go back, select reboot and select system over here. If and select do not install over here if you get this message on your screen. And now our device will boot into the Lineage OS ROM and if you have unlocked bootloader then you will keep on getting this irritating error which I get on my device too. Now it's time to set up the device normally as you would do so I'm going to hit next next and keep on skipping everything as of now. So it is asking us to add a fingerprint so I'm going to add the fingerprint right now and let's see if it works and uh, I am sure that it is going to work for sure so it's not an issue. Okay so we have added a fingerprint successfully let's complete this setup. Okay start and uh, if we lock the phone now and if we try to unlock it it will ask us for the password for the first time and now it should get unlocked and the fingerprint speed is surely very good and not bad at all it seems like as if it's uh, as good as stock rom and if we go into about phone it is not 7.1.1 but 7.1.2 which is the latest android version that you can have on any android device as of now no you can have android o but that's still in developer and that's not a stable version as of now and if you see this yellowish tint on your display you cannot see that on my camera right now because camera settings are quite different and to change that go into display then select live display over here deselect automatic outdoor mode and in the display mode select off over here now everything will be changed and everything will look whitish and more white in my opinion i do not use adaptive brightness too but adaptive brightness is surely going to work on this one too so i have already made a video on features of lineage os roms i'll leave a link to that in the i button over here and when it comes to lineage os roms there are not lot of features as compared to resurrection remix rom but surely more features as compared to the stock rom which is present for the device so some of the features are present in status bar such as you can change multiple things over here all these things and all the features of Lineage OS ROMs are covered in that particular video. Now let me just flash another ROM which will have more customization options as compared to Lineage OS ROM on this device. Once again I'll boot into recovery mode and then flash the custom ROM. I'm going to fast forward this part though.
the rom which i'm flashing right now is the beanstalk rom and this rom is like good rom but it's not as popular as the resurrection remix rom and at the time of making this video resurrection rom was not released for the moto g5 plus but if the rom gets released in the future then i'll surely add the link in the description box below because that's one of the best roms when it comes to customization options and i would highly recommend you to install the resurrection remix rom if you want to have a lot of customization options on your device but for now you will have to stick with the beanstalk rom So as you saw the boot animation was of Binstock ROM but now we are seeing LineageOS ROM over here so let's just set up the device and let's see what it has to offer. Let's go into about phone and this ROM is also based on 7.1.2 but this ROM is based on the LineageOS version 7.1.2 so this had to be 7.1.2 it was quite obvious but we have magisk manager over here and magisk manager will handle all the root access on this particular device so if you are interested in using android pay on this particular rom then that is quite possible with the magisk version which is installed on your device it may vary according to the magisk version which is installed on the device too so do keep that in mind so i just now inserted a geo sim card in this thing and as you can see device is HD capable that means VOLT should be working on this particular device. So let me just call 1977 and I'll show you that VOLT is working on this device. So So as you can see the call is working super fine and only Geo SIM card is inserted in this device right now and 4G LTE data, Wi-Fi everything will work super fine on this particular ROM and as well as lineage OS ROM which I showed you guys earlier. When it comes to features of this Beanstalk ROM then there are a lot of them. I'm not going to show all of them because then this video might become very long. If we go into navigation over here you can either enable navigation bar or disable it but you can change the navigation mode to fling and you can change fling settings like right short swipe will open up recent so if I just swipe to the right like this then it will open up recent applications but if I do left short swipe which is back over here it will go back. Now let's go back and go into gestures over here so you can double twist to open up the camera application as you do on your normal stock ROM so let me just allow it and as we have opened up the camera application let me just click few pictures and let's see how the call camera quality is. So as you can see in artificial lighting conditions the photos look pretty good but I can assure you that this camera quality is not as good as stock ROM's camera quality so do not expect camera to be as good as stock ROM you will experience a little bit of degrade in camera quality but that's completely okay considering this is a custom ROM and not the stock ROM on the device. There are multiple other options which you can use including fingerprint gestures. So if, so if you long press on the fingerprint sensor it can open a presence application like this or you can change it to anything that you want. If you select swipe left as back then if you do this it will go back too. Now let's scroll down and go into status bar over here. There are some normal things over here but let me show you some of my favorite features. So if we go into traffic indicators select enabled over here outgoing and incoming and it will show you small traffic indicator of the data which is being transferred or being received at the same time. And my favorite one battery status style select circle select percentage inside the icon and 77% battery is remaining on this particular ROM. So this was pretty much it for a quick overview of these two ROMs and how to install guide. If you like this video then don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you have the Moto G5 Plus and if you have flashed any custom ROM on your device then let me know about that in the comment section box below. If you are using any of these ROMs then your feedback or your review of this particular ROM will be appreciated too because this was not my review of these ROMs but it was just how to install guide and quick overview of these ROMs. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, don't, don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon. And uh, don't forget to watch more videos on the Moto G5 Plus. The playlist link is present over here. Just watch all the videos because those are awesome too. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.